Okay. Uh, hello, hello. This is Quantifier, and welcome back to another episode of Friends and WoW with me and my very good friend, Mr. Xavier. How are we doing? Oh, look at that. He even waved at you. That's I fantastic. Know. I, was, I was waiting. I had it. I'm like, oh, we're just going to do that for the, do that <laughs> okay, for the fans. Okay, so, um, again, a month since we've done this. We apologize. <laughs> Every time That's we right. say, hey, we're going to go and get some of these done, life says no. No, you're not. That's right. And, and well, one of us hasn't been playing the game very much recently. So. Well, you know, you really got to step up your game there, mister. Oh, yes, because I'm the one who hasn't been playing. <laughs> okay, so we um, are pretty much still in Desolus. We just picked up a new dealy whack over here. Mm -hmm. And I believe, and we were under, are under the impression that once we hit the OK button, we're going to turn into something and go flying away. So uh, let's go see where we uh, fly away to. That's right. Let's hopefully this will be entertaining. Here. I'm ready to show those threats to speak up. Boop, boop. be at your back. All right. All right. We didn't turn well, in anything, but at least we got a free free ride. All right. Well, I actually own that particular type of uh, mount. Mount. Well, you, you. I thought you have a hippogriff. I don't think you had this this one. Do you? Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. I think I have two. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Hippogriffs are kind of cool. Yeah. Just never. I mean, never... The, the shape of them isn't quite what I like, but you know, it's not bad. It's uh, people. Um, people tend to. Uh, not use them, so they're kind of like on the slightly not seen very much side, so that's why I like to use them, because you don't see everybody with them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, the reason I'm pausing is because I keep seeing these whispers, mm -hmm. and I'm like, is that someone talking to me? No, no, that's just the computer. <laughs> yep. That's just one of those things. So, but like I we was saying, this game is so pretty. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. That is one thing I... One thing I give them credit for is they have designed some pretty amazing zones. Yeah. And while I would like to play it more, I have so many other games I enjoy playing and things I like <laughs> doing. It's just... The wheel of interest. Yeah, basically. Spins, spins. That's right. Sometimes this, it, it lasts a month, sometimes it lasts three minutes. Well, this one had six years. That wasn't bad. <laughs> Off and on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a solid four or five years there. That's true. But, anyway... Of course, now that I'm getting into more artsy stuff, I can look at the, like just the clouds and go, man, that is just some really nice cloud work. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'm supposed to be looking at the bottom or something. Well, it's just basically saying, hey, this is what's happening. The Naga are invading because of the cataclysm, so... Everything happens because of the ca uh, ca uh, cataclysm. Stupid cataclysm. Yeah. yeah. It happened. It's over. We're moving on. Yeah. <laughs> more things to blow up. More things to you know, get all kinds of gears for. Yep. <laughs> I've actually been what? thinking about uh, Eve a lot recently. Have you? Yeah. It was a I weird really game. It was just like, ugh. this is, I mean, the spaceship thing it was just really cool. I've always had a soft spot for Eve, mostly because you're flying around in spaceships. Yeah, and it's, you know? It's another but one of those really, it, really. What got me, though, was how games. blase everybody is about, oh, the ship I just spent months getting ready for just blew up. Now yeah. what? Well, now you go and get yourself another ship. <laughs> Right. Just go buy another one. What? <laughs> That's a good start. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cheater. Four bars I'm ahead cheating. of me. Ooh. I have an armor spell now. Look out, world. I just got honored with bacon. Me too. So do we want to go and do our other quests first? Uh, might as well grab this one so we don't forget about it. I, yeah, oh, I already go. got it. I was just... Oh, okay. Uh, like the number yeah, two probably here. Should, we probably should, like be somewhat organized about this. Well, I don't know. I think we have to be so I said somewhat. I, was gonna say, I don't think we have to be specifically organized about it, but... Hey, let me throw I mean, besides the stone... My new armor. Uh, uh, we're going to get rid of that Neuropath one. A finder one, right? We decided Which we were, one? The Neuropath... Uh, in Stone Talon Mountains, we're done with that. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yep. Do you want to get rid of that one? Peace of Mind, too? Um, No, that one's still here. Yeah, but it's green. So, it'll still give us experience. It should be, like kill quick and be done. Okay, let's go. Alright, so we're heading to, actually, let's go kill Kohar, because it's the closest Wait. one. <clears throat> well, that is a peace of mind, okay. Mm -hmm. Tally-ho! My... <laughs> my spell crit went up by 5%, and physical damage taken reduced by 6%. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> now, cha <-ching. laughs> Cats are already starting to bug me. I gotta keep... Sh Shooting them away. I fed you. Go away. 
apparently you didn't feed them enough. No, I actually gave them more than I should. But I think they're just digging the, all the extra uh, fresh air, so they don't know what to do with themselves. I know. I had, I've had my windows open all day. It's the first yeah. day I can have my windows open to get some fresh air. For in those I like... of you that aren't in the U.S. or near us, and since I'm not telling you where us are, this is could, this very generic term, uh, we just went through, what, a week? Two weeks of very hot and humid weather for our area. And yeah. uh, this is like the first day where the temperature dropped to the point, of, and the humidity dropped to the point where you people can be comfortable outside of an air-conditioned area. Mm. So... Yeah, I think the last two or three days it was, I believe, I know down here we we were in the mid-90s approaching 100 degrees, and then we had one day with the heat index was 105. Yeah. And I know people like in, you know, in, in, in Phoenix, Arizona, are like, well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? No, for us, that's very... Yeah. yeah. For us, that's ridiculous. Right, that's ridiculous. So, so now we are going ahead and tour the heavy metal one, right? Uh, well, we just got a quest to, that's right here. We have to go in the ancient summoning ritual, which I think is in the fortress up on the hill here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's loop around, and cause the entrance is up here. We'll have to fight our way in. Plus it gets its experience, which is really kind of what we're actually yeah, after. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Well, if that's the case, we'd be killing everybody yeah. that, instead of running past everything. That's true. I'm always amazed at how much uh, how much processor thing just recording takes. But I guess that's fast yeah. for you. <laughs> that is. Oh, and another quest item. I always like that. You are to bring 25 burning blade ears. Oh, no, well, now we're killing everybody because we need your ears. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me get the quest. Oh, let's go. Step it up. Wow. Actually got two ears off one guy. How does that work? <laughs> wow, something that makes sense. <laughs> I gotta remember I can't kill like 10 people at once though. Because you're not awesome. Well, I will be in due time. That's true. But. Who still uses stuff with a wolf? Honestly. <laughs> Disenchanters? <laughs> Pretty much, that's true. I'm really amazed they just haven't take that, taken that whole name, that naming thing out of the game. To be honest, I think it's a good it's a good thing to have. Why? It's it's literally... Oh, I mean the wolf specifically, or the whole concept? The wolf. Oh. Like, oh. the wolf and the whale and, um, you know, the ones actually, that... Actually, I think that's more of a complete the list sort of situation where it's like they have these stats they need they should someone feels that they should keep them together you know, that kind of right thing. but I mean but they, they literally serve no purpose anymore sure they do yeah there's, you know, there's one like the tiger where you, you can get plate armor of the tiger that gives you agility mm -hmm. but um but. you know it's, it's those kind of things where disenchanters can take and not feel guilty feel guilty well, that's a that's a pretty. That doesn't change anything if it gives me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Yes, right. And again, I think it's a uh, fill in the. Basically, I, I think they just have a. Here's a random names. The name may not make sense, but it fills in you know the space that. I don't know. To me, it makes sense to do. Fair enough. Even if it you know as on a on a programming sense, it makes sense. Not a gaming. Hey, this is a good thing to have. If they got rid of everything that wasn't useful, they wouldn't have anything. <laughs> Bats. Oh, I do have to jump back. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, hey. Go away. Boy, the drop rate is acceptable. <laughs> Considering what drop rates used to be, this is downright oh, exceptional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've ever uh, told the story, but there's always that stupid purse. There was a quest where you had to find a purse that uh, some slime swallowed or something. I was at that quest for like 20 minutes. Like, it was... I want to say it was hours. It was like hours or something where it's like I was looking for a purse. Later, in all honesty, they did come and say that the, the, the quest was bugged. They did say that. But it doesn't mean that I'm not a... It's just... 
massively annoyed by the whole thing that I spent that long looking for a stupid purse. And I believe. Not that he's uh, bitter or anything. I believe uh, X Pack here did it in like, like you know, next to no time. It was like 20 minutes. I think right. I got all like, in my second or third kill. Of course, at the time, I you know this is um, my first character, and I was uh, I wasn't quite terribly sure what specifically I was looking for because at the time they they had a very specific type of slime, and they were never at the you know this is way back when you know WoW was new, and so they weren't very specific to you like this is the type you want, like no they just said go get the slimes. I mean, yeah, because they, like, they never used to show you like where to go or right. give you show you the area on the map. It was you kind of had to figure it out. Right. You know, and if you went the wrong way, you went the wrong way. Yeah. Speaking of wrong way, I have a feeling that what we wanted was actually in the cave below here, oh. because we're right where we where I think we should be. And if you look at the map, the ending point. Well, there was is a thing here that just that despawned with big wings. Yeah, but I think this was something else. You think? Well, uh, let's see. Oh, oh, there's. A scour the for clues. Oh, are we looking for clues? It says the fortress, and this is the fortress. Yeah. Unless it's unless it's oh, you know what it might be? Uh, there was another building towards the back of the complex. Okie doke. Let's go there. Yeah. Let's do that. Yes, and we are sounding like old timey gamers, and right. old man, and all that stuff. And back in our day. Well, let's see. Youngins don't know how easy you had it. We had to go to level forty before we were mounted. Gosh That's darn right. it. <laughs> That's right. Now you guys get it, like, you know, they say, oh, you started the game, congratulations, here's your mount. That's right. Not quite, but... Step on a cockroach and level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back when 60 was the low, was the, your high level. That's right. Way back when. Way back when. It's probably still, it's probably One of the good and, and bad things to have having been playing a game literally for years is you've been around for most of its development, so you've seen how it is, how it is now, and, you know, uh. there's the rose-tinted nostalgia of days gone by, but you have to admit, things are, are quite a bit nicer sometimes now. I don't know. There are some things that are nicer, but they just, they made the whole game easier. Well, yeah, but I mean, to be fair, if you remember in, I mean, we never did a whole lot of rating in Classic WoW, because we never really had the group that would do that, right. but grinding for rating used to suck big time. Like, worse than anything that, you know, you think that that purse thing was bad. I mean, there are people who would literally spend months grinding for, like, a piece of fire resist gear, you know, just to go into and, and hope to get a spot in a raid, and it was just it was. Yeah, but see, that's that that was the dedication. I mean, to be honest, that made it more very, very much more Eve like. Yeah. Where uh, it's like you had to put in the dedication. <laughs> that's true. Although in Eve's defense, you can tr you actually get to train when you're offline. Yes. That's so. True. You, you don't have to sit there and watch. Hey, I'm cooking bread. <laughs> exactly. Like, ooh, look out! Are you trying to grind baking? <laughs> that's right. Yep. <laughs> How did I proc two burritos? <laughs> How does this even work? Not gonna lie, that would be awesome. Yeah. 